Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nirav and in this session I'll be discussing the chart of S&P 500 which is an index of the American stock market and I will be giving a long term forecast for the same using Elliott Wave principles. But before moving any further, just read the disclaimer that is presented on your screen which states that all content presented here is purely for educational purpose and I am not giving any kind of investment advice over here. So now let's get started with the video. First thing you can see is that I have on screen the monthly chart of uh, S&P 500 and S which is an index of the American stock market. Also I am having the chart in the candlestick format as you can see and I will be using Elliott Wave principles and if you are not familiar with Elliott Wave principles uh, let me give you a rough outlook of the same. So the Elliott Wave principles state that any market moves in a 5 wave pattern or 5 wave structure and that wave structure is composed of certain rules and these rules are to be followed by the wave structure for them to be qualified or counted as a complete wave. So let's just have a look at the same. So I have drawn up 5 waves over here on screen. Let's say this is the first wave completed till here. This is the second, third, fourth and fifth. So as per the rules, the second wave cannot retrace more than 100% of wave 1. So this means that this wave 2 cannot come below this starting point of wave 1. Similarly, the wave 3 cannot be the shortest. Also, the fourth wave cannot enter the price territory of wave 1. That is the fourth wave cannot come below this line that I have just now drawn here. So these are the three rules that are used to make a correct Elliott wave count. This is just a rough introduction of the Elliott wave principles and let's just get to the chart and see what is happening over here. So as you can see I have already given the wave count the first wave here, sec first wave till here, second wave till here, third wave till here and the fourth till here. I have started the count from the low made in March of 2009 and the count of fourth wave is completed in 2016th February. Yep, it is February. So since the four waves are already completed so we will be looking at the target for the fifth wave and I will be using Fibonacci extension tool as well as uh, certain guidelines of the Elliott wave principles for uh, forecasting the target for the fifth wave. So first thing I'll be using is the extension and I'll be measuring the movement from the starting point that is over here till the end of third wave to determine the target. So as per this extension you can see that uh, these are the three targets that are coming out right now. So this is the first method. Now the second method that we use is the measurement of the first wavelength. This might be less valid here because the third wave is not an extension. But uh, even then I will be using this to get a rough idea of the probable target. So here I am projecting the length of wave 1 from the ending point of wave 4 and as you can see the 2500 mark is where this projection is completed. Also you can see the 50% mark comes at around 2536. So based on these two deductions I am of the view that uh, 2500 is a level where the target should or target of the fifth wave should be. That is I mean to say is that the fifth wave should at least attain the target of uh, 2500. And this is my view based on the Elliott wave principles. I have given a rough outlook over here but I have a complete course if you want to have a look. And uh, one more thing I would like to tell you guys here that uh, I have this uh, complete uh, analysis presented as a report on my website. And uh, you can check the same by going to www.50eyes.com which is uh, my website. So this is my website www.50eyes.com you can go either to the American market section over here or you can scroll down to see the recent post where I have given the same analysis in text format for ease of readers 
one more thing is that uh, you can subscribe to my emailing list if you are interested in getting updates like this and offers that i am at release for my upcoming courses other than that you can connect with me on facebook twitter or google plus and that's all for this discussion thank you